You're watching 360 Rumors. My name is Mick and this video is about stabilization. If you have Adobe Creative Cloud 2017 and, and you have After Effects as part of that package, then you now have image stabilization because Adobe acquired Metal and they added the Skybox Studio to the Creative Cloud at no additional cost to subscribers. So this video is a tutorial on how to use that feature. Uh, if you're already a, a seasoned user of After Effects, there are actually other tutorials for that, um, they, such as by uh, Hugh Ho of um, Creator Up and Charles Yeager, and his video is on the Metal uh, website. But if you're new to After Effects, then this tutorial is for you because uh, I'm I'm also new to After Effects, so there there were a lot of things that were unfamiliar in um, those other tutorials so um, this tutorial will be at a slower pace um, so that's what this is about um, so I'll first I'll show the video that we're going to use um, it's a, a drone video here and you can see that it's a little bit wobbly like that and we're going to stabilize it so we're going to launch after effects um, and we're going to create a new project new project and then we're going to import the video um, so i've imported the video and in after effects you work with something called compositions um, so compositions are kind of like videos but they have things like text and um, effects and everything in there already so uh, we're going to create a new composition there are two ways to do it uh, the way I like to do is right click and then new comp from selection so now it's been imported into the timeline uh, the f there are two steps when you're stabilizing the video first um, you the after effects needs to understand how the video is moving and then second once it's uh, able to understand how the video is moving it's gonna it can offset that movement and stabilize it to do that let's do the first step which is to analyze the movement to do that let's click on uh, skybox composer if it's not already on the right side of your uh, screen then you can go to window window and on the bottom you should see it skybox composer if you don't see it there, uh, check the link in the description to this video uh, to download um, Skybox Studio. So uh, from, from Skybox Composer, we click on Add 3D Edit. And from here, we click on I am using 3D plugins. And then click on Add 3D Edit. So this changes the view to a rectilinear form because in an equirectangular uh, view like that then After Effects can't really analyze the video. From here uh, we click on uh, properties and then click on apply AE 3D camera tracker because if you click on stabilize footage right away then it won't know how to do it because it hasn't uh, figured out how the video is moving. So we still we need to do this first which is apply a 3d camera tracker so again um, you see it's analyzing in the background and again this is a uh, very processor intensive so I'm just gonna come back and we're back uh, it's finished um, analyzing so just that uh, kind of like tape that this has disappeared and here you'll see um, on the left side you can click on effect controls and you'll see the 3d camera tracker has um, appeared as a new effect now if you don't see effect controls go to window and workspace and then click on uh, effects and you should see it so uh, the next step is to stabilize it so we click on um, 3d camera tracker and create camera 
so now that there's a camera uh, we can go to the properties over here uh, and then click on stabilize footage so here's the video here's what it looks like and uh, we from to convert it to render it you click on open output and render so we go file file export and there are two ways to do it if you just export it to the render queue it's gonna render it as AVI and it's very large so instead I'm gonna render it to uh, through Adobe Media Encoder so I've added it to the media encoder queue so from here you click on the file name we'll call it uh, stable as short so here we do start rendering we click on play we just finished rendering and here's the finished video um, Yeah, as you can see it's uh, pretty stable and for reference again this was the unstabilized one you can see it keeps moving up and down so I hope you found this video helpful for more tips on 360 cameras accessories, uh, reviews, and techniques, uh, please subscribe. Thanks very much.